Hi guys and welcome to Football Manager 2018 with Rangers. We're going to be taking on Dundee today at Ibrook Stadium. A strong form versus their inconsistent form of course. 15 points still behind Celtic who are about to mathematically wrap up the league. Not this game hopefully but, but the next game. Uh, Marco Milanese unfortunately is injured. Danny Wilson will step in who is technically a better player actually but Milanese has been playing really well for us recently and is starting to really come on as a player still only 19 years of age and we're not developing anything in particular his passing though for example has gone up from uh, it's only gone up from 10 to 10.2 that's not excellent actually anyway point being he's doing well uh, Tavernier is wanted by Leeds he's been playing well but Jordan Houston's been playing well as well do you know I'm going to leave Jordan Houston in the team it'd be harsh to take him out I think uh, now in terms of the side, Herrera can play the full game. He's lacking a bit of match fitness, but he can come in. Morelos and Herrera reunited up front there. Uh, so what we're going with is Fodrigham, Cardoso, Alves, Wilson, Houston, Nudson, Jack, Baronas, Peña, Herrera and Morelos. As always with this formation, we're looking to create through patient passing play and we're just looking to dominate the game. Not, lot, not allow Dundee to get a lot of the ball and just impose ourselves frankly as a superior team uh, Zordo playing it to Brown and then to Charlesley and Sissako as uh, Dundee start the game Darno D and Zordo in, uh, carrying injuries into this game I always, th I always think that Sissako sounds like a fake brand name version of Sissoko as Baronas whips it in Cardoso's up for the header it is away Herrera will pick this up he's not at full match fitness Herrera but a lot of time today should give him that back. Baronas in low. Darno Day gets it away. Former Celtic man, of course. Houston will pick it up. Scoop it out to Wilson on the other side. Wilson will pick that ball up now. Congested in there. Nudson's not really helping him standing that close. It's not a great ball. Head away by Hendry, but Wilson can pick it up. He goes to Baronas now. Turns and plays it to Peña inside. Now it's Jack. Peña's got a bit of space. Plays it forward to him, Peña now looking centrally, or looking out wide actually to Houston, he looks centrally, Morelos is in there trying to get there, Herrera though, Eduardo Herrera pounces on his return from injury, brilliant stuff from Eduardo Herrera, ball slipped through to Morelos, there's a bit of a ruckus in there, and Herrera just pounces and slams it home, 1-0 Rangers are ready. And we're starting to feel again like we did in that 8 game run, we're starting to feel like a side who can take on anybody in the league, uh, including Celtic, when we're playing brilliantly. We're starting to feel like we can slap any team in the league other than Celtic. It's only still 1-0 though, let's not get carried away here. Last thing we need is now for Zordo to pop up with two headers. <sighs> Eduardo Herrera, unfortunately, is injured again. Young Bromer, I guess, can come back on. I'm determined he's my little project. There's probably a lot of players actually in our youth team that are better than him that we could be playing. for the moment as I say he's my project I think we're in time now Rangers winning a corner but we're not seeing any of this action so I suspect yep whistle's about to go for half time it absolutely does dominating the game 10 shots to nil 64% possession delighted with how things are going just send them out to do the same thing get creative I suppose Peña to Jack now Jack out wide for Houston he flicks it to Cardoso who finds Jack and Baronas now looks forward it's still 10-0 shot count Nudson can take a big long throw into the box here still nobody challenging I, I don't know why it does that Peña to Jack Jack in the young German takes it down now it's Houston he angles it across headed away Baronas picks it up now back to Jack patient play from is nicely done Baronas can find Nudson in acres, it's not a good ball out, but the left back will get it and he has time to put one in. Peña's in there, he helps it on, it's beyond Scott Bain, it's a lovely finish from Carlos Peña and it is 2 nothing to start the second half. I think we can make another change just now actually and we're going to go with Jordan Rossiter for Ryan Jack who is in the book just to take away that threat of the second yellow card. An absolute domination from us today, perfect stuff, let's change that to later score Sinclair double has Celtic 2-0 up at Hamilton McLean and Rooney have Aberdeen 2-0 up at Hearts are down to 10 men and Hearts look in real trouble of going down now they do have a goal back though through an own goal Partick 2 up at home to Kilmarnock Hibs 1-1 one, one up at Ross County and Motherwell 2-1 up actually at St Johnson uh, St Johnson 
I think probably just have enough of a gap back to third place that they will definitely finish second. But I wouldn't put my house on it or anything as Mo Barrow comes on to team up with a big German up front. Motherwell 3 1 up at home to St Johnson now. Pena to Baronas to Barrow. Go on, take him on for pace. Barrow does take him on for pace and tries a, what, 45 yard shot? Fair enough, whatever. 75 minutes gone now. Sasako. Elbert Tui. Spence. Vincent. Forward to Best. Out wide to Freer. Freer taking on Houston. Don't let him pass you. Oh, and he dives in and lets him pass them. Freer now. Acres of space to pick the cross. Best on the move. It's into Best and it's off the post. A little warning shot for us. Just tighten up here, guys. We want another clean sheet. Did that even work? I don't think it did. Tighten up. There we go. Aberdeen 4 1 up now in Edinburgh against Hearts, and I have to say, I think Hearts look doomed. As Baronas will deliver this. 30 seconds to go. In fact, he'll just nudge it to Alves. I suspect we're just going to see out the clock now for a 2 0 victory. And since we moved to this 3 at the back formation, still no goals conceded outside of that old firm game. Rosita's touch back to Baronas and as much as we'd like to think that we shouldn't measure ourselves taking out old firm games but frankly we need to Celtic are too strong to be measuring against Celtic we put that game down as a freak occurrence Rositer and it's forward and it's time 2 nothing again we're running out deserved winners here good win boys not too passionate about it I'm not actually going to go over the top with a 2 nil home victory against Dundee we do obviously get the win. Hearts are now five behind Motherwell. I think Hearts are doomed. Uh, St. Johnson, yeah, have a ten-point gap back to back to fourth. St. Johnson will definitely be finishing third. Uh, we are twelve points ahead of St. Johnson, and uh, Celtic are fifteen points ahead of us. So the top three look absolutely locked in place. Herrera only out for one to two days with that injury. That's great news. And we're moving into the next stage. We're going to be playing after the split ok so it's going to save the game <clears throat> Hearts fans will be embarrassed to see their club battling to survive after they fell short of expectations finishing the stage in 12th place and they're going to finish the league in 12th place I would imagine Dembele hotly tipped for Players Player of the Year up against Sinclair, Edward and Armstrong. Great. All Celtic players in there. I was actually wrong in saying that the Cup Final would be played after we take on the next stage of the split. The Cup Semi Final will be the next thing we play. It is 14 days away. We're going to holiday to that and we'll have another little chat as we did last time about what we're going to be doing in the summer how we see these players going so Herrera and Morelos obviously are going to be our options up front if we got, got a good option for any of them by the way we would sell them I'm not going to there's nobody in the team I'm completely wedded to at the moment um, maybe young Baronas and that young regen goalkeeper both of which who can be excellent players I think especially at this level and in terms of the right wing I think Jordan Houston is another player who we're, we're definitely confident. If Leeds were to bid for Tavernier a decent chunk of money, I would sell Tavernier. I'm confident in Jordan Houston now out on that side. On the left, in terms of left wing back, Knudsen has not really impressed me. Uh, I've said before I regret spending the money that I did on him, 1.8 million or something. It was the whole budget that I had that I actually spent on, on Jonas Knudsen, who, which, as I say, I think the money's been wasted. I still think he's our best left back we have at the moment. I think he's better than obviously Hodson and Wallace. So none of them will be getting back into the side when they come back. It is still Nudson's position out there. I may though look for a left back in the future. I think we definitely need to get one of them. Central midfield, I think we're okay. Baronas in there with Jack, and I've got Rositer as a rotational option. Obviously, Dorans is in there. He's not actually as old as you think. I still think he's about 30, early 30s. He's not that old. So he can certainly play there. The attacking midfield position, Pena, 
I think plays well but if we got a good bid for Pena I would definitely sell him and bring in somebody else who's possibly cheaper possibly somebody who maybe not as good right now but is younger and will develop to be better than Pena long term I think that's something we need to look at in terms of my experiment with the young German striker I think we'll do that for the rest of this season we're pretty much locked in place now in, in the league in second position we're not going to be overtaken by St Johnson unless we lose every game after the split and we're not going to catch Celtic unless we win every game and they lose every game which is certainly not going to happen considering we need to go to Parkhead so we're locked in place second place in the league we're going to be playing as strong a side as we can against Aberdeen here obviously in the Scottish Cup semi-final and if we were to win that game we'll obviously then be playing the strongest team we can in the final but I might rotate other than that I don't think we're going to go nuts and bring up, you know, hordes of players from the unders, but I think we'll possibly rotate and let's get Thompson and, okay, Houston is now actually starting, but we'll get the young young Ian Fulton in goals, we'll get him playing games as well. So I think that's going to be the idea, Tavernier injured just now, but that's fine, as I say, Houston is probably going to be the man. Uh, scouting meeting... Uh, Oliver Buff there who I think we looked at and looked a looked a good player there um, he's wanted by Girona there I think we're going to create a note about Buff and we'll put fee just so we remember he wasn't a free transfer we'll set that for the beginning of June when we start to really look at transfer business Morelos could win Football Writers Young Player of the Year I do not expect that to happen since he's been called for quite a lot as much as he has been doing well. Kenny Miller has bagged his coaching licence, which is great news. Hopefully when his contract expires, we can attempt to then sign him as a coach, although he doesn't have coaching statistics. Let's try and fund another... Nah. Because of the club's current financial situation, we're not going to fund another course for him, which is a damn shame. We get 60% of transfer revenue, which is pretty decent, I do say. All those considerations go out of our head now. It's all about the Aberdeen game here at Parkhead, eh, at Parkhead, at Hamden Park. We don't look beyond this whatsoever. If we manage to beat Aberdeen here, we have a great chance of winning the Scottish Cup, actually. We thought we had a great chance of winning the, the, the Betfred Cup, and we did, but we go down to a, a Hibernian penalty in that game. So... Morton will contest the Scottish Cup final after knocking out Cali Thistle on penalties in Hamden. So we're going to have to go, first of all, take care of Aberdeen. And then we have a huge opportunity to win a trophy by contesting a final against Morton. Huge opportunity, actually, to contest that final against Morton. We've been playing great. Since we switched to this formation, we've conceded a goal against only Celtic other than that we've had clean sheets across the board we're winning games we're in good form we're playing with a bit of swagger Aberdeen are in the bottom six in the league morale's got to be down now Eduardo Herrera fitness test not required not quite fully fit and should be monitored I don't know what to do with him do we play him do we not play him we haven't lost to Aberdeen this season uh, looking at the positive side of it I'm not going to play Herrera from the start I'm going to play O'Halloran hope we can get the job done if not then I will play Herrera possibly second half I'm not exactly sure how long I'll wait but we are going to go Fodringham, Cardoso, Alves, Wilson Houston, Nudson, Jack Baronas, Peña, O'Halloran and Morelos that is the team we're going to be going with I... yeah that's pretty much it I think no changes to be made let's go let's go to Hamden let's do this here at the National Stadium, we're up against a 4-4-2. We're on a good run lately, impressed me. Cardoso likes that, we're not going to talk to the media. We're just going to ask him to get creative as O'Halloran finds Peña, he plays it out to Nudson. Getting forward positively at the start of the game here, looking to put Aberdeen under early pressure. He's still going the left wing back Nudson, but Shea Logan does put in a good challenge. As we motor down the park right after kickoff. Adam Rooney's actually carrying a knock into this one. What's up with him? Injured. Okay, it doesn't tell us what's up with him. 65% possession in the opening 15 minutes with three shots. Aberdeen yet to create anything. 
it's good news even if we're not playing particularly well even if we're not getting chances statistically dominating the game controlling the ball which is exactly what this formation set up to do by the way control the ball create more chances in the opposition and then eventually you'll create something good that's the theory although it seems to be one of those semi-finals where both teams are scared to lose it because absolutely nothing has occurred in the opening 45 minutes despite nine Rangers shots two of those have been on target absolutely nothing created <clears throat> and O'Halloran has been poor so we're going to be going with Eduardo Herrera second half and we can get the goal we're favourites to win and Eduardo Herrera on for O'Halloran second half it's Morelos and Herrera up front the dream team McLean playing it to Christie now Christie getting forward on that left hand side he's running at us just as Nudson ran at Aberdeen at the start of the first it's a brilliant challenge by Houston just as it was by Shea Logan in the start of the first half but Aberdeen's ratings are pretty damn poor today ours are ok Baronas looks to deliver this forward he does scoop it in high it's away by Logan rather easily Morelos will pick that up as Aberdeen look to push out Morelos now dinks one into the box it'll be easy though for Joe Lewis to pick up Herrera didn't get anywhere near that one 52 minutes 52 seconds on the clock Lewis takes his time puts it down dinks it forward now Stewart flicks it on but it'll be picked up by Houston now what the hell is he doing over there Houston not a great ball blocked Baronas though to Peña Houston battering forward it's into Morelos he goes back to Jack that was weird playing it to Nudson why are they on the wrong sides Baronas now Peña we look to break through back to Baronas can he pick a pass through to Peña can he thread it through Baronas and Herrera eventually in Connor brilliant challenge Morelos now brilliant challenge O'Connor again Tansy away should be picked up Cardoso forward to Peña now got support outside him with Houston they're back on the right side Houston in oh and almost actually tricked Lewis see that's one of those sliced crosses that I don't mind seeing because it looked potentially like it could go in but it was well dealt with in the end by Joe Lewis as Stevie May replaces Adam Rooney Nudson with a long long throw here into the box Jack will challenge McLean will get it away Herrera will pick it up though he has Houston with him on the right hand side it goes out wide for Houston to try and run onto it a bit of a weird ball but Houston picks it up crosses block McLean won't get there before Jack Baronas has Nudson and Akers Peña picks it up he goes to Nudson can he pick a cross here takes the lovely touch beats his man crosses low Tansy easily blocks the cross though poor it's forward for Stevie May who will pick that up actually bit of danger of this getting in behind us but it's brilliant by Bruno Alves to read the pass Cardoso now Nerves are keeping in now as it remains now. Now Herrera now as we try and push forward he does have Houston there for support he goes to Houston Houston inside he pokes it for Peña good ball Peña now Morelos looking for Nudson to make the run he does he's got acres of space to pick this cross he does put it in it is Alfredo Morelos he sweeps it in it's beautiful play Nudson given far too much time to pick out a cross he puts it in well and it's a lovely finish uh, Rositer coming on for Ryan Jack now for the last 20 odd minutes as we look to freshen the team up I was saving some substitutes potentially for extra time but now we're just going to hope to win the game in the 90 minutes 15 minutes or so will remain and we're going to bring on who, who are we going to bring on we're going to bring on James Tavernier Jordan Houston doesn't seem to be having a great game out there although I don't see him doing anything, doing anything wrong we are going to bring on Tavernier for the last 10 minutes we'll tell him to tighten up after for the last 5 that's what we're going to do now oops I was going to make a change there to our mentality but Nudson will throw it to Morelos Peña now hopefully we can grab a second Rositer now can close down quickly finds Wilson Nudson easy ball he should just play it forward to the striker it's a great ball for Morelos actually can he square for Herrera and for the cup final Morelos squares for Herrera and for the off of the bar <laughs> Tavernier picking it up now danger not over but now it is it's a good block as Tavernier just stands still and watches O'Connor clear it's up to right actually possible counter over the top for Stevie May can the defender beat him to it nope Stevie May with a lovely touch he's in but it's a lovely challenge by Danny Wilson breaks to Scott Wright puts it back in Bruno Alves away Scott Wright picking it back up playing it to Kenny McLean now he turns it Danny Wilson away again excellent from Wilson first of all to block the shot the shooting opportunity and then to scramble it away at the death four added minutes one's come and gone two three and four added minutes have come and gone five added minutes have come and gone when only four were allotted Christie puts it in it's a good ball it's headed it's a free kick to Rangers and it should be time Stevie May's offside it is over 
1-0 victory. It was not our best performance, but that's exactly what you need in cup games. You just need to get through to the final. Congratulations, lads. And we're contesting that against Greenock Morton, who we would expect to slap. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It has been another good one for us. Two clean sheets and two victories. We beat Dundee, and then we beat Aberdeen in that semi-final. Playing Morton, of course, in the final after they put out Cali Thistle, but we've got lots of league games to get through before then. We'll see lots of the young and rotational boys in action. Next time out, it's Partick and Hibs. But as I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have done, please drop down below and leave a like. Uh, if you want to follow the series, especially with that cup final coming up, possible first trophy, then please subscribe to the channel. I'd be eternally grateful if you would do that. And I will see you next time when we take on Parthic Thistle again and Hibernian.